Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. Automobiles. On this episode of Automobiles, we will be comparing the Veer Cruiser Wagon and the Evenflow Pivot Explorer. Both have very similar looks and features, but one is half the price of the other. The Veer Cruiser Wagon base price is $599 which comes with the wagon itself, a snack tray, and two cup holders. Accessories are separate purchases and the canopies only come singular when ordered. It weighs 32 and a half pounds and can take up to 110 pounds or 55 pounds per seat. You can purchase a car seat adapter if needed and it advertises all terrain wheels. You can hose it down to clean. The Evenflow base price is $299, which comes with the wagon itself, two canopies, a snack tray, and a basket. You can also purchase a car seat adapter if needed. It advertises all-terrain wheels and weighs 34.7 pounds. It can also take 110 pounds or 55 pounds per seat. You can even purchase a separate toddler seat, which mimics a traditional stroller seat and can also take 55 pounds. Both wagons have three-point harnesses, but you can hack a five-point harness on the Veer and not on the Evenflow. The Evenflow has two brake pedals, one on each rear wheel. Both must be engaged for a full brake. The length of the carriage is 33 inches with a height of 9 inches and inside width of 17 and a half inches. From the seat to the top of the canopy, it measures 23 inches. The inside of the footwell length measures 10 inches, a depth of 5 inches, and a width of 12 inches. The rear wheel has a 10 inch diameter and the height of the handle at its highest point is 37 inches. It comes standard with two canopies that can lay flat, but when open has a weird angle that doesn't completely cover the child. It also comes standard with a snack tray and a basket. The handle can be flipped by engaging the side buttons so that you can pull the wagon. To close the wagon, you engage the two buttons on the side of the handles and push it closed like an accordion. Then engage the handle behind the seat of this side that is still open and it will close flatter, albeit it still looks like a pretty bulky fold. The Veer has a brake pedal in the center of the wagon that you engage by stepping on it with your foot. Once engaged, the white unlock button appears. To disengage the brakes, gently kick the white unlock button until it disappears again. The veer folds flat and to open it, you first lift the handle and then open the sides until everything clicks into place. The length of the veer is 33 inches with a height of 9 inches at its highest point of the carriage. The inside width is 19 inches. From the seat to the top of the canopy is 25 inches and the highest point of the handle goes up to 41 inches. The footwell length measures 12 inches, has a width of 17 inches and a five inch depth. The rear wheel is 11 inches. To adjust the handle, there is a toggle clip that you lock and unlock. The two buttons below the cup holders will disengage the handle so that you can pull the wagon. One thing to note about the Veer, which I saw as a major safety issue for squirmy kids, is that the side walls do not completely meet as you can see here. There is a space which is large enough for a small hands and arms. The button that I pushed, which is located on all four sides, disengages the wheel. So just be careful of squirmy littles that like to push buttons, especially during your walks. To close the Veer, you must remove all the accessories, then engage the handles behind both seats to lay it flat and then you can lay the sides over the seats like you would when closing a box. Pull the two buttons under the cup holders on the handle and it will allow you to lay the handle over it and it will lock into place. Here is a comparison of how they look side by side when folded. The veer will take up more length in the car and the even flow will take up more width. I will say that for an even more compact fold, the veer wheels are very easy to remove. Both are compact enough to fit in the trunk of a Honda Fit, which is a small hatchback vehicle. None of the wheels needed to be removed for them to fit. So larger cars, you won't have a problem. As for the terrains, we once again visited our local beach with the park right next to it. 
On the bumpy, rugged grass, the even flow pushed very smoothly and my daughter was happily eating her Cheerios without a hitch. Once we got onto the soft sand, we made it a couple of feet before I could not push through the soft sand any longer. The only rider being my 22 pound daughter. At that point, I switched to pull mode and was able to pull through the soft sand, but it was a struggle. I suspect with more weight inside, it will be harder to pull in the soft sand. It's also difficult to curb hop with the even flow because there's no brake bar that you can use as leverage to hop the curb with. There is enough space between the bottom of the footwell and the standard curb where I didn't feel like it would catch, but larger curbs might be an issue. The veer was very easy to push through the bumpy, rugged grass, but leading with the big wheels during pushing takes getting used to. As smooth as the push, turning it in the direction you want takes some practice. Once we got to the soft sand, it was surprisingly easy to push the veer through the soft sand with only my 22 pound daughter in tow. Once I switched to the pull mode, it was even easier. As for the veer, same thing goes with the even flow. It's kind of difficult to curb hop because there's not much leverage to use. But with a standard curb, I didn't feel like the footwell would catch. Overall, both wagons perform very similarly. For such a huge price difference between them, I would have expected the Veer to surpass the even flow in performance. But for the budget conscious, I think the even flow could do the job. The Veer has so far done the best on soft sand compared to other stroller wagons I reviewed and is more spacious than the even flow, so you would get prolonged use out of it. Or if you have larger children, then it would be worth it to spend extra on the Veer. I hope this comparison was helpful. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Until next time!